How is it going today, Lois? Lois. Kingdom Hearts. Dwayne. My name's Jasmine. We're Dwayne and Jasmine. So we have Death Battle, Deadpool versus Mask, The Mask, Marvel versus Dark Horse. Yes. Death Battle once again. So I'm ready for this. I'm I ready. think that they're going to try to kill Deadpool. But can do you think that Mask can? I don't. Know. I, don't I really don't know. That's like two really like eccentric <laughs> characters. I know. Fighting each other. So I'm. <laughs> I'm excited. If you guys have any questions, please follow us on social media in the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. You sure this is gonna work? Yeah, <laughs> shut him up for good. Trust me. It's they the gotta break the fourth wall. Okay, then let's get started. <laughs> so most of us, the laws of reality are unbending rules we never question. It bends for them. For us, <laughs> but right. for some people, they're more like guidelines. Such mm -hmm. as Deadpool, Marvel's Merc with a micro penis. Mm -hmm. And the mask, a total Chad who just oozes big dick energy. Mm -hmm. huh. Could have sworn that would get his attention. <laughs> He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our like, job to analyze that. their weapons, mm -hmm. armor, and skills to find out who would win. Mm -hmm. My third death battle. Ha! Wait, what was that about a micro penis? <laughs> <laughs> Like, what'd you say? Every I famous superhero has a special something which makes them recognizable. Some are gothic knights of darkness, mm -hmm. a showcase of order versus chaos. Some are instantly relatable, a prime example of an average person Teenager. in a not-so-average mm -hmm. world. And some are shoved in your face over and over and <laughs> over <laughs> again until you just can't take it anymore. Oh, shucks. Are you talking about me? You're such a sweet talker. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> We've been through this, but why stop a good thing? Hi, I'm Wade Wilson, masterful mercenary and twice robbed of winning People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive Award. <laughs> twice robbed? I got stuck in a seriously shitty situation called cancer. Yeah. The worst supervillain. But then the good folks of Department K offered me a cure. Sounded great. Until I learned the big plot twist. Mm -hmm. Department K was actually a sect of the Weapon X program. Mm -hmm. A top secret project mm -hmm. for crafting super soldiers by any means necessary. It's from they shut Wade up Wolverine. with 50 cc's mm -hmm. of hot, creamy Wolverine juice. Mm -hmm. It gave him the same crazy healing factor, but also turned his face into an improv comedy prompt. You look like an avocado. Have sex with an older, more disgusting avocado. Yeah. After escaping in gruesome fashion, Wade resumed his life as a mercenary, taking the name mm. Deadpool. You mm. got your standard mm. superhuman buffs, super strength, Multiple. super speed, super toughness, the works. But he put that super swagger to use as an expert martial artist. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hard to tell oh, sometimes because he lets himself get hit a lot. Hey, when you have a healing factor that would make even Logan's nuclear charred adamantium skeleton blush, you let yourself nosh on a lead sandwich every once in a while. Mm -hmm. I survived gunshot a lot. impalement, mm -hmm. organ destruction, superfication, and oh. even freaking disintegration. Mm -hmm. Good luck trying to take me out. Don't take all the credit for yourself. You know you were cursed with everlasting life by Thanos during some of that. Yeah, well, me and Space Grimace have a really deep relationship. This Space Grimace. About as deep as I am and his girlfriend. hey -o! Good thing Thanos mm. removed the curse so we could violently murder you. An impulse I deeply empathize with. Well, as much as I like getting resurrected after that, I like doing the opposite to other people even more. Make as in killing kill. them. With weapons, <laughs> especially my lovely Golden Girls, B and Arthur. That would be his katanas, which are almost unbreakable thanks to an energy field from his suit. Yeah. Fully charged, they can even I was cut say, what else hole. can they say about Even then, yeah. Deadpool is a they walking arsenal with enough machine right. guns, sniper rifles, grenades, rocket launchers, tranquilizers, etc. to take out a small country. And if I'm feeling cute, I might delete you later with any one of the wacky weapons of mass destruction I've picked up on my misadventures. Like like a gun that wipes you from history, the actual Venom symbiote, and the mm -hmm. seventh Infinity Stone, the mm -hmm. Continuity Jam. It rewrites canon itself and could even make Wizard Boots the bearable co-hosts. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Oh yeah? Well, let's go over some of these feats of yours. Take it away, Wiz. With pleasure. Deadpool has showcased his impressive super strength when, at one point, he stood up straight without aid. Based on Deadpool's cannon weight and examining mm -hmm. the distribution of mass here, we can deduce his legs can support 210 pounds, or mm. just under 100 kilograms. Wait, what? Oh, or how about the time he <laughs> held up this pistol? That 
finds a Desert Eagle Mark 19, which weighs 72 whole ounces. Amazing. Hi, <laughs> what the hell? You know I can kick people through concrete walls and yank around a six-ton helicopter, right? Here, we can see him running, much like typical human beings run. Aww. And the average male running speed is about 9.4 kilometers per hour. Hey, I, I was out running a goddamn airplane. <laughs> you know how fast airplanes are. <laughs> Jesus and Christ almighty. Do some research for once, you frauds. <laughs> Jokes aside, Deadpool can move faster than the eye can track. He's caught he Captain America's shield, which Captain can throw fast enough to slice him. through tanks. Mm -hmm. He's even dodged the electric-powered mutant Surge's lightning blast. Mm -hmm. If these are anything like the leaders of real life, they could be have. moving over mm -hmm. 98,000 meters per second. Deadpool's a tough son of a bitch, too. He survived a sunburn from a freaking space laser, getting crushed under the Chrysler building, and an explosion that cratered an entire city block. Just look at the size of that! Measuring the crater's volume and applying statistics for pulverization of rock, the explosion must have equaled about 130 tons of TNT. That's like getting hit in the face with 22 monster trucks driving at top speed, mm. all at the same time. But Deadpool isn't perfect. Far from it, obviously. Unlike Wolverine, his chemically induced healing factor isn't a natural evolution, and so it seriously damaged his brain. Yeah. Which explains a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this guy isn't just annoying as balls. He's legit insane. Talk about a mm -hmm. terrible combination. <laughs> well, Deadpool's insanity is quite the top of the invisible people. Oh, yes. Namely, yeah, the writers and editors of each comic book he's in. I mean, is it really insanity if it's true? That's even how he got rid of the continuity the editor. by literally <laughs> handing it over to the editors. While his broken mind and daredevil attitude makes him incredibly unpredictable, it can often put him in over his head. Plus, mm. while his healing factor is quite potent, it's not an instant quick fix. That's why he prefers to reattach his limbs rather than yeah. wait for them to regrow. Because they start as a baby. <laughs> your head really slow. That's not pleasant. <laughs> his biggest weakness, though, is that he's a dumb internet meme and he should feel bad about it. And using this mathematical formula, taking account of Deadpool's abundance in media, we can quantify exactly how dumb he is. You know, I've done this death battle bullshit three times now, and <laughs> can I just say, I hope you... Alright, I'm up for that fight. <laughs> I love it. I'll be over there chomping on popcorn and chimichangas while your heads explode trying to figure out how I could possibly lose this one. Toodles. Good riddance. <laughs> Deadpool may be an annoying clown who has menaced Marvel's good and bad sides for decades, <laughs> but he's also had sex with my mom over a hundred times and made her moan like, hey, hey! He wrote it. Come back out of here, son of a bitch! <laughs> Psychologist Carl Jung once described the persona as a kind of mask designed on the one hand to make a definite impression on others and on the other to conceal the true nature of the individual. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Basically, who we are on the inside is different than who we are on the, the outside. outside. But what if putting mm -hmm. on a mask could actually reveal what was underneath it? Mm -hmm. Underneath the mask? Ugh. You mean your face? I yeah. don't even know how to start to answer that. Use your mouth, it's on your face. Well, while uh, Wiz is trying to figure out how oh, masks yeah. work, <laughs> dumbass, let's talk about one mask in particular, the mask. Its origins are shrouded in mystery. Some say it was used as part of an African tribal ritual. Others oh, say it was created by Loki, the Norse god of mischief. Who knows and who cares? I remember that. It wound up in the hands of Stanley Ipkiss, the slubbiest, dorkiest loser this side of Deadpool. Regenerating degenerates have feelings too, you know. Curious, mm -hmm. Stanley donned the mask and was transformed from an everyman to a superman. Bokehead! The best man. And now he's a big green cartoon character the media dubbed Big Head. But you can just call him the mask. With his newfound power, Stanley would take on the mob, get the girl, and live happily ever after. Right? Don't let the family movie fool you. Sorry, mm -hmm. movies. I always forget no, myself. No, that was not. Don't blame you. This ain't your no. silly Steamboat <laughs> Willie shenanigans. Get it's ready for some good old-fashioned hardcore violence. See, the mask mm. itself is alive, and it desires nothing more than absolute carnage. Chaos. By tapping into its wearer's repressed id, it can turn a nebbish nobody like Stanley into a rampaging serial killer. Mm. Complete yeah, with like he funny watched powers. That people. Horrifying. I was watching Metafictional that combat <laughs> scientists like myself have long speculated about a unifying theory that could explain the source of the mask's powers. We call this phenomenon Tomb Force. 
think oh, characters such as Bugs Bunny, Popeye, and Michael Jordan. A being that wields Toon Force seems capable of accomplishing almost anything they desire so long as they find it humorous. With this power, the mask can manipulate the laws of physics whenever he likes, even In breaking the fourth lit. wall. Oh, God, no, he can break it too? You never said anything about that, and now we've got two of them. Don't forget about me! <laughs> allows the mask to summon any kind of weapon imaginable from thin air. Everything from oversized guns and rocket launchers to whoopee cushions, dynamite, anvils, hell, anything from the good fellows at Acme. Mm -hmm. Toon Force users can manipulate their bodies in any way they like, whether it be stretching their limbs, inflating themselves like a balloon, or mm -hmm. shape-shifting into giant monsters. Mm -hmm. And best of all, you can't really hurt a tune. Well, at least not in the normal way. Right. All right. It's not that the mask has a specific healing factor or some such. It's more like he can just say no to damage. He's had <laughs> holes blown in him, and his head no, stripped his own flesh from his bones, and was blown up into a bloody pulp. <laughs> he can outpace Lobo, remember him? Because he doesn't need to wait for his body to heal. It just happens. However, the scariest thing about the mask's use of Toon Force is how it affects the world around him. In most cases, the rules of Toon Force are applied to the user and whomever or whatever now the Now I'm thinking that the mask is going to win. That's even yeah, maybe. The movie. Yeah. I think it's safe to play like, no go. Wow. Deadpool does get hurt. And affect but things around him. But the true yeah. canon of the mask, he just this is not the know. case. Oh, and wait. this leads to some, well, horrific imagery. The mask can pick up cars and knock over buildings with ease. He can dodge point-blank bullets and run fast enough to set the ground on fire. He has survived massive explosions, giant robots, and being kicked in the testicles so hard he flew. Out of all the gore in those comics, that is the worst the thing I've seen yet. But remember what we said before about him fighting Lobo, the guy who ate a city? At one point, Lobo mm -hmm. and the mask raced around the entire planet several times in the span of just a few seconds, a and then crashed into each other in an absolutely gargantuan blast. Based on their after trail rings, and given an estimated time frame of less than half a minute, which fits given the context, they must have been going over 9 million meters per second. Jeez. Uh, what a couple of scares. There's only one way to really stop the mask. Yeah, that's, that's how I can lose. The mask yeah. itself. Good luck I was trying. wondering that too. The only way is that like, the wearer has already off. decided to yeah. let it come off. And with the power it gives, Ugh. who'd want to? Mm -hmm. Technically, the conscience of the person the mask possesses still exists and could be reasoned with or tricked into removing the mask. Mm -hmm. Like when Lobo threw a guilt bomb at him after he murdered hundreds of people. I don't know. But the mask itself has an astronomically powerful influence on its host. Mm -hmm. Right. Do I mean, who doesn't like right letting now. loose every once in a while? We've covered a lot of vicious murderers on the show, but I've never seen one who has as much fun with it as the mask. Mm -hmm. Let's rock this joint! I just realized how big his teeth was. Oh, yeah, right. I just see it too. We run like the data through all possibilities. Mm -hmm. But first, I've got a hunger for some. I swear, if you cut the commercial, I'll strangle you both with an actual blue egg. By now. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for a death battle! It's time, mask. You got mask? Yes, okay. mask, mask. I'll get Deadpool. Yep, yeah. oh. That's me. You're probably wondering how I got in this mess. <laughs> <laughs> There's only enough time to pull two minutes of so we're skipping that part. Right. <laughs> Can't wait for it to go full circle. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Uh oh. Could it fall on? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I like the animation for this fight. You got one chance to take that off. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this will be a fun fight. Yep, regenerating. Ah. Nice. Uh, it's not. It's not over yet. Right. Oh. What a ride! I was like, would it be over if they cut his head off? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> Yeah. Say, I know the right people with 
this continuity jam, I can rewrite anything I need to be fixing. I could stop Hitler from being born, rewrite the Star Wars prequels, or <laughs> even make you take off that mask. Uh-oh. No! Uh-oh. Stop it! No! Oh, yes. He's over. Not the Thanos now. So what? Oh, they went back to the sketches. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't kidding. Ah, beans, we're in the storyboards. Oh, no. Oh, chum, I think that zany stunt of yours <laughs> ran out the budget. Can't make the scene if you don't have the green. Lucky for <laughs> you, I have an idea. I like this. <laughs> what? Selling cookies? Selling vacuum? <laughs> Just Robin. Right. <laughs> Deadpool water. Mm. Oh, playing Fortnite. Right. It. Gambling. You show one of your cards. Okay. Oh. Oh, I think it's gonna do something. Uh oh. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh okay, there you down. go. Ah, that's it. Honey bar, we're good to go. I'm not gonna rock with somebody else. Right. <laughs> okay. Let's go do it first. <laughs> Missing feet and all. 
And with some help from this royalty-free Sarah McLaughlin ripoff song, I hope you can find in your hearts your true selves, too. Sayonara, death battle. Sayonara. I can't believe I'm saying this, Wiz, but I wish he was still around. He's here. Yeah. Me too. Huh? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, man, <laughs> it's me! <laughs> Today. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay. The mightiest of them all. That's going to be fun. Oh. That's going to be fun. I don't know who's going to win that one because you know All Might can't sustain that form. I don't know if they're going to do. I don't know which version they're going to do. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if they're going to do All Might by today as far as like where the anime is now or like in his prime. Like, I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah. Wheelchair, so it's like, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna have to see. So, we're gonna have to see. Have to see. Mm. I'm excited. Um, episode. I like that. I think that was one of my favorite. Um, death yeah, that, yeah, that was fun. That oh, was super fun. I think that's cool. That was a super fun death <laughs> battle. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It wasn't like a regular fight to fight hand to hand. Yeah, it was the more like. Right, and the animation was on point. Fire. And I like how they went to the storyboard right. to show like the rough sketches of like what they're gonna be doing and everything and then go back. Cool. That, was, that was just good. I love it. That was one of my favorite ones, yeah. I have to say. Yeah. Anyway guys, comment below, let's not you think. Don't forget to like, share.